Innocent buyers in the ordinary course of business take the goods free of any security interest created by the seller. But who qualifies as a buyer in the ordinary course of business? A Texas court faced this question in the 1974 case International Harvester Company v. Glendenning. Farmer Don Glendenning had nearly two decades of experience in the tractor business. Glendenning had owned an International Harvester dealership in the 1950s and later worked as a salesman for International Harvester before leaving the company to trade farm equipment on his own. In July of 1971, Glendenning bought three new tractors from Jack Barnes, an International Harvester dealer whom Glendenning had known for several years. Together, the tractors were worth $22,500, but Glendenning paid $16,000 in cash for all three. Barnes filled out an order form and bill of sale, representing that, in addition to the cash, Glendenning had traded in four used tractors, worth $8,700. Afterward, Barnes and Glendenning both added their signatures to the form. According to Glendenning, he never traded the four used tractors to Barnes. Glendenning also acknowledged that he was very familiar with International Harvester's floor plan financing method, by which the company would supply farm equipment to dealers and retain a security interest in the equipment. Finally, Glendenning acknowledged that the falsified order form was likely meant to mislead International Harvester and other creditors. But when an International Harvester representative called him about the deal with Barnes, Glendenning lied about trading in the used tractors. Later, Glendenning took the new tractors from Texas to Louisiana and sold them for a nice profit. International Harvester and its credit arm sued Glendenning to recover damages for wrongful conversion of the three new tractors, which were subject to International Harvester's security interest. Glendenning defended on the ground that he was a buyer in the ordinary course of business and thus couldn't be held liable for damages. The jury agreed that Glendenning was a buyer in the ordinary course of business, and the trial court entered judgment in his favor. International Harvester appealed to the Texas Court of Appeals.